They both start with the? The? They're the only Zevas and the only Beast. That's crazy. So this is a matchup that I feel is uh, historically pretty bad. Ness and Sword characters. Yeah. Ness against any disjoint ever. Yeah, it's usually not great. Okay, a little bit of an awkward shield break, but he got the hit. Yep, kind of uh, in a situation like, ooh, okay. Damn. He wants all the glory right now. This guy's truly the beast. Yeah, the thing that uh, I definitely feel like the Zebus is going to have to watch out for is I feel like in a situation like this where his opponent definitely looks like they want to swing first and they want to make the first move, Yeah. Uh, they have to definitely be aware of kind of like their opponent's effective range. They have to be aware of like how long Lucina's sword is. Uh, and how quick the moves are, as well as which moves he obviously can and cannot, you know, with him. So, he's doing a much better job of uh, coming back from it now and just kind of waiting, playing more defensively, uh, you know, shielding more. Oh, he went for a little bit of a PK from the trick. Okay. And yeah, you shield a little too many times, and you know the shield figure is going to come out eventually. That's uh, not a terribly cross one because he was able to get the stock right afterwards. Yeah. With a, you know, while you're at low percent there, it is, especially coming off the platform, it is pretty, you know, smart sometimes to go for just like a big hitter move like that. I think he might close the stock up, but the air dodge is off stage and, okay, yeah, uh, the bees didn't want to uh, Yeah, he didn't, to want to, that. he didn't want to get but, hit by that. Okay, yeah. He got edge guarded and that's Kind of the issue that you, you come up with when you play a character that has uh, a mess with a bull recovery like that. Oh, oh my god. That was pretty good. He faded back on his aerial and then punished the landing with the smash attack. So as long as he was aware and did that intentionally, that's a pretty good play. Yeah. So he's keeping it relatively even despite getting hit a lot here. Uh, yeah, the problem with PK Fire is it's real good if it hits. Oh, you know, ear dodge is a little bit too high, but like I was saying earlier with his PK fires, he was do yeah, he was doing them like that. He yeah. was doing them at a range where he was too close to Lucina, and you can't do them too close to Lucina because just like in any fighting game, if you throw a fireball too close and they jump over, you're gonna, yeah, you're you're gonna need a big punishment. You're gonna get hit. And again? again, yeah, just shielding a little bit too much. Uh, you know, I'm sure that his idea was that, you know, if I can shield, if he gives me the enemy when, when I shield with like an aerial, then I can shield grab him. Or yeah. I can do an out of shield option, like an out of shield aerial, like a nair, or something like that. But you really do have to be conscious, especially when you know he's been going to these shield breakers and you're trying to do it. You have to be aware that if you get hit by one solid forwarder by Lucina and then immediately are shielding afterwards, they can just do uncharged shield breaker and that's it. That's your shield. Your whole shield right there. So I would definitely... I would definitely work on maybe relying less on shield as a defensive option. Yeah. And like maybe more just like moving out of the, using movement to kind of get out of the way. Uh, you know... Ness can do some tricky things on approach with side magnet. You know, you can jump, you can do short hop side magnet to stall your aerial approach. Okay, he spot dodged, but he got uh, punished. Okay, not <laughs> really. At zero, forward smash is almost never the good move. Yeah. Okay, he punished that forward uh, air on the shield, but went for kind of like an illegitimate punish after the grab. Now he's kind of getting stuffed out again, but good catch on the second place. And he thought to throw him off stage instead of uh, just going for, you know, uh, on stage combo. Okay. Smart, he, he, he didn't trust in his ability to space the air dodges right now, so he just went for the upbeat. He went for the option that he was way more sure was gonna get him to legendary. And the, uh, 
You definitely want to work on the angle. Yeah. But again, coming down from the platform with the back air, really good stuff. Uh, the Beast may be a little bit too scared on that upbeat. Maybe he uh, was just a little bit too eager to kind of make it back. And he got clipped by the Drop Smash. But yeah, I would definitely say if I were the Beast, maybe... I mean, he's doing pretty good right now in that it looks like he's definitely waiting for Ness to do something. Yeah. Before picking his option, which, I mean, against a character like Ness, super duper good because a lot of what Ness does is, like, entirely reactable. And... Okay. Yeah, like I was saying, a lot of what Ness does is entirely reactable. You can kind of just wait for him to do that. And again, the PK fires that... Uh, he's just kind of jumping over and yeah. unfortunately he didn't grab the ledge with that air dodge I'm a little bit surprised it didn't happen but uh, you know, I guess if you play the character you do have to be aware of the space you know. okay yeah with PK Fire of course you know the direction that you're supposed to hold to get out of that right? yeah up and away if you hold up and away most of the time they're not going to get anything out off the PK fire unless they hit it right next to you. Like that. It seems like uh, the Zebus is just like a little bit off on his uh, down throw confirms. Yeah. Maybe not dashing forward enough after the down throw to get the fair. But, uh, you know, it's something you can work on. It looks like he's just trying to like hit him and then just do a PK fire afterwards. To get, like, oh. oh. And you know what? That was Jeez. the same situation that happened earlier in the game where the Beast did a high up B because maybe he was a little bit scared. But in a situation like that, as long as you're aware of kind of the range and how that move works, you should know, you know, okay, I can go to ledge here. I'm not going to get hit by it. He's not at the right space to hit me with it. I can go to ledge. I don't have to, you know try to make something high up or something like that. And it's hard not to get scared. But here we go, Battlefield. Definitely, uh, I think, a little bit more favored for Lucina, since obviously if Lucina gets Ness stuck on the platform, oh, getting yeah. down can be kind of a pain. Ooh, yeah, aggressive option, maybe not the best. Okay, yeah, didn't want to mess with the PK Thunder, which sometimes you just have to respect the move and yeah, <laughs> miss input on the on the second fair off stage there. Maybe he didn't. Might have forgot he lost his jump or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's very possible. Okay, he held up and away, got out of the PK fire. He like has the right idea. Like when he sees that Lucina is gonna run at him, he fades back a little bit, but he doesn't wait long enough for like Lucina to throw out a move so he can punish. He just tries to like hit her as yeah. she's going towards him. Which it's really it's kind of risky to do because she has the sword. And you oh don't, yeah, you know. Yeah, she can just like beat out most of Ness's moves for free. Okay, that was a good shield grab on the forward smash. Obviously, that forward smash not being the best option there. Especially, you know, the opponents at a percent like that, you know, unless you really got the lead on it. Okay, good job. He didn't try to, he didn't try to fish too hard for another PK Thunder to open himself up. He tries to cover this low recovery that just wasn't happening. Yeah. Really good job of recognizing that, uh, the, that Nash did not want to go for a shield grab on the ledge there. Yeah. So instead of doing the arrow on his ledge, he just grab. But does that kind of questionable neutral beam and uh, get grab? Okay, down tilt very good at a. Uh, oh, oh, wow. You, you have to tech those. And I think maybe if I had to give advice to Vivas right here as to how we should kind of like adjust his game plan is when they're off stage Ness is a character that for the most part needs to stay on stage yeah so it can be cool to go off and try to like edge guard them or like fight them off stage but sometimes it really is just better 
to wait and try to like ledge trap them or uh, catch a get up option, you know, something like that. Harass them with something like PK Thunder as opposed to trying to like jump off the stage there, then, you know? They both kind of go for some pretty big swings. And yeah. again, he's running off stage to try to get this stock here. And I think he's out of a jump. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be it. And uh, the set goes to the beast. Have to play a set.